Doodle doodle. <laughs> I don't know why that's stuck in my head. Hello and welcome to my viewing of Blackpink Light Up the Sky. I am so excited to watch this. It has been just sitting in my Netflix list for the last month because I haven't had time to get to it until right now. When they first announced this documentary, I had extremely high hopes for it and high expectations just because it's the girls. Like, I expect quality. I want to hear their thoughts, their feelings. I want to see behind the scenes. I was so excited for it, right? But now, I'm a little scared. I'm a little nervy. And here's why. One of my good friends, her name's Bethany. Bethany, if you're watching this, hey girl, hey. I would say she was like a casual listener of Blackpink. Like, I think she wanted to get into them, but just didn't really know how to start, or maybe it was always a like back of the head thought of, oh, I'll get into them later, whatever. She watched this documentary, right? Text me that night and was just like, bruh, Blackpink though. And I was like, I know. And now she's a full on stan. So what kind of crack is in this documentary? That's what I want to know. So it is about an hour and 20 minutes, so it's not too long, nothing too crazy. If you are a blink, I hope you are excited to watch this with me. If you're watching this not really knowing the girls, I hope you fall in love with them as much as the rest of us have. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm so excited. Holy shit, 2016, we're all the way back here? Yes, stomp on my neck. Oh my god, babies. Whoa, this is so weird. We're going all the way back here. Oh, the babies! Da, da, da. Three years later, holy shit. Blackpink! K pop sensations, Blackpink! Hit you with the do, 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 do. That song really just like did it for them. Like at least over here in the States, I feel. They also made history as they became the- I was about to say, when they went to Coachella, I think that really just like started the Western invasion for them. I mean, they already had the fan base here, right? Like they were already doing the damn thing, but Coachella just really set it for them. I hate you so. Army Blinks, where are you? I'm so hungry. Are you? Yeah. Did I eat something too? To no. There's some t-shirts. <laughs> We've practiced and explored so many different things um, during our Cheney days. Um, I literally could listen to Rosé talk all day. I think for me, when I say girly, I want to do more like... Like as if it's your last? Like, oh. Uh, <gasps> <laughs> this means girly, according to Jenny. <laughs> you know what? If Jenny says this is girly, it's girly. Did she stutter? No. <sighs> oh, I would get my ass in the air. Love sick. <laughs> I just knock myself out right now. I've written and produced every single song that come out so far. We love Teddy. Our initial approach was more like single, smash, single, hit. Now, yeah, we, we know. Uh, we need to tell more of our personal story. Please. And I know the fans are mad. Like, we want more and more. Oh, shit. Teddy. Oh, my God. Wait, is this like their Just initial reaction to it? Oh my god, yes. Reacts by Blackpink. <laughs> Imagine that, like being on a track with Lady Gaga. What? Oh shit, we got choreo? Wow, look at that, I already fucked it up. Shocker. Every group has their own different cultural background that makes them who they are. But the combination, that's what makes Blackpink unique and stand out. I agree. All of them together as a group is just so powerful. Rosie, a Korean girl that was raised in Australia. And she stays here till like 6 o'clock a.m. just in the studio. Sometimes I'm like, wow, you're still here? Where's her solo? Yes, queen. She does you hear that raw vocals? When it's crunch time, she has this executioner killer instinct. I just always think of her as the like instructor or whatever. It's so terrifying. This is so easy. Why can't you just do it right? She's super clear. Her opinions, her emotions. She's a perfectionist. Literally. This is so good, like, as a new fan, to just kind of get to know each person. No wonder Bethany became a stan. Korean people make music. It's K-pop. I don't even get it. Like, it's Korean pop. Exactly. Exactly. So it's the only thing is language. Exactly. Teddy. Why don't they do that for every country? Exactly. What is K-pop? Why aren't we like A-pop? K-pop. K-pop is taking the US storm. Oh my god. Storm. Army Blink. What's up? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's 
21. 21 really was like, I mean, so was Girls' Generation. Singers, rappers, and dancers. From one of the heavyweight companies <gasps> in this industry. Queen. The viral Gangnam Style. I always forget about that song and that like it literally was a hit overseas. I don't know why, it's like a black hole in my memory. Trainees can start as young as 11 years mm -hmm. old. They're raised together, they train together. Go to school together, they're literally together 24-7. Some make their debut after just a few months training. For others, a few years. it could be up to a decade. Yeah. Many never make it to debut at all. Yeah. Damn, like I always forget how crazy or how competitive being a trainee is. It's sometimes easy to just to see the idols and then forget everything that they've gone through. When you're getting into a new group, I mean. Preparing for a new album, that's definitely fun because it's like trying to come up with something new, but... Like, like pause. This. That's why I think it's funny when people who aren't really familiar with the culture or with K-pop feel like they have a place to criticize it or like, I don't understand why it's so big. I don't understand why people are so into it. And it's because you know how much work goes into it. You can see it in the concepts. You get something different every album, every song. There's teasers. There's a lot of fan service as well, which keeps you interested in the group, you know? Even if it's like a year between an album, there's so much in between that just keeps you engaged. And that's why people love these groups so much, you know what I mean? Like it really gives the fans something to celebrate, but also from a business perspective, something that they feel like is worth putting their money towards. And that's why you're seeing like the traditional Western artists. I feel weird, first of all, saying like Western artists, whatever, but that's the term that they apparently have. But that's why you're seeing like more traditional Western artists kind of taking inspiration in K-pop. You know, I feel like I've been seeing more teasers. I feel like I've seen them. Um, use tactics for album sales because K-pop artists when it comes to the album sales is insane and I mean it really comes down to we all want that stupid little photo card but just the culture in general like it's just so interesting and it's just it's fun that's what it comes down to you know if you're gonna invest your time and your money into it it's gonna be worth it and that's why people love it I always avoid interviews or any questions about me because I would rather not talk about myself but Oh, here we go. Here we go. Da da da, bitch. Da da so slow. I always say it like that. I'm like, bitch. I have to, like, I have to. Like, literally, it girl. It girl. Singing, dancing, and rapping, I always enjoy it all the time, but we always have to be on stage looking perfect and performing the same thing. It's like working out for two hours every day. It never gets easy. It just makes me think of all the videos of uh, like, oh, Johnny being lazy on stage. Like, y'all don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Shut it up. I was raised in Seoul until I was 10. I went to Australia. Oh my God, Bobby Jag, yes. <laughs> Icon. When I turned 15, I was deciding whether I should move to America. It's when I realized I don't want to go to America and do another study there by myself. I actually want to become a singer. Like, I don't know where it came from. If they, oh my god, oh my god, if they show like Fish for How My Money choreography, I'm out. I'm out. Then as soon as Lisa came in, that's when I thought, Literally, literally though. <laughs> literally just the coolest girl. Stop, stop, I can't talk about it. ตะกุกก็โตเทลนกกูปวดปกดหนึ่งตอนนั้นหนูอายุ <laughs> 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 the way she literally doesn't even need makeup, I don't know what she is talking about. What? What the Where? Literally where? Like she came out of the womb pretty. I I'm confused. I was I don't really know much about Jisoo's like life actually. Period. Oh my god, everyone. We need to watch her new drama when it comes out. You're kidding. No way. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> 
I love watching them like have friends. Like that sounds ridiculous, but I love seeing them be so friendly with the people that they are with constantly. I say, let's return my Miss Rose. Wow, that was so short. Girl, I want to hear more about Jisoo. I was born in New Zealand and then I moved to Australia when I was eight. I went to church every Sunday and I had a lot of Korean friends there. But then at school, I was just like a normal Australian kid having two lives, kind of like Hannah Montana. <laughs> it's funny. I love her. I love her. Oh. My Jonas Brothers? Thought... Y'all hear that? I dropped out of school in Australia. I, I, I dropped out of school. I had never even imagined myself living apart from my family. I didn't know she dropped out of school. It was a really hard moment when I cried. Don't cry. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. The first night in the dorm, they were all in the same room. Everybody was sleeping. It was us four. I don't even know why, but it was us four. We like because it was fake. It's like quack muko. Oh, it's like kind of like a kind of feeling. It's like she's like, damn, bitch. She started getting an Australian accent. <laughs> So she still has. I feel like I'm involved. I'm like, oh, really? Like, I, I'm not there. Ashley, you are not friends with Blackpink. Get it through your head. I think what makes K pop K pop is the time that we spend as a trainee. Could you imagine that? Like, that's literally their whole life for years and years, just with the hope of, of debuting. And then at that point, just becoming successful. Four of them just felt right. They li literally, they just click. I don't know what to say to explain the magic behind them. Because he is, Teddy is the CEO. <laughs> In my mind, Teddy, that's it. Do you remember that? And we almost didn't Make come out with like a whistle, whistle for our debut song. Why? Yeah, like, because too many people thought it was risky. Yeah. But last minute, we were like, Entertainment too. 21 Yeah. I mean, that was a big deal after 21. You know, they cool. They're the baddest bitches of life. Exactly. I hope they saw that. I hope they saw that clip and they know that it's true. How much did you sleep last night? Three hours. Yep. Yep. Stop, I love playing with fire. Bye. 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 It's a big day. Oh my god. The fact that that is like not green screened. What? Three music videos with over 400 million views. One billion views. Oh, it's like giving me chills. Like they're so successful. What the fuck? It's wild. I think when things get faster, it also becomes very overwhelming at some points. Oh, we're gonna get into this? Oh no. Oh no. If y'all make me cry, I'm out. Oh, uh, And you do a great job, girl. Don't, don't second guess. Okay, it's just Rosie and the beat. Oh no God. words, no melody whatsoever. So here we go. Period. Live vocals in the studio. This is the footage I came for. This would be so cool to just like sit in a studio session and see like how everything is created. So here's what we worked on. This is Rose's first recorded song. We even I want it. This whole I want it. She's shy about sharing that story. It's just super personal to her. It's like her diary. Understandable. Okay. Let me not pressure her that into making a solo, but like, I want it. <laughs> Like, how does that come out of her? That tiny little body, all that power, all that emotion. Science? Explain that for me. Really love me, not at your... Oh, I love that song. Don't hit them, go hot Really, I really regret not going to their tour. I mean, they didn't come to my state. I could have gone over to California to do it, but... Ugh. I should have done it. Sometimes when I look like I'm really tired and angry, that is my happy face. <laughs> Jenny said, y'all bitches better shut Lady. up. Oh, this is Coachella. You guys, the first 
female Korean group to perform at Coachella. Oh my gosh. What? I loved seeing all the videos of them just in the crowd, just having a good time. I'm like, you guys deserve to have a moment for yourself. I didn't know Jisoo was sick. I didn't even, I didn't even know. I couldn't even tell. Wow. <laughs> there are people that understand that this isn't just K-pop music. Exactly, it's music. They see us as doing something language. new. Whatever. It's a different It represents black pink. I have to put in the clip. I have to put in the clip. So I want everybody to dance like it's your last. Oh, chills again. Oh my god. What a moment. I love that all the Lisa fans I've seen have either been screaming or crying. That represents us fairly well. The stuff that's on stage, but I feel like we all go through so much. No. And no. Very... <laughs> no. No. Don't. No. Happy tears. Happy tears. Happy tears. Happy tears. Cry. I don't want to cry. Everyone cry. Me and then Jenny and me yeah. and then Jenny. If she cries, then Lisa cries and then. <laughs> so I feel like we're doing a great job and we have more to show you guys. Like it's just the beginning. Damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god, what a journey that was. No wonder Bethany is a stan. Like I know I already said that, but damn. Like I'm already a blink. But I think that just solidified my placement in the fandom. Overall, I think it was a really good introduction, um, not only just to Blackpink, but also just the world of K-pop for anybody who just stumbles upon this documentary who might just have a slight interest in them or has heard of them and just wants to know more about them. I think this was a really great way to just introduce himself and just make him seem so down to earth. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are down to earth, right? They're just really cool girls. But in an industry that is so, focused on perfection, it might not get translated that way, especially to people who aren't used to said culture. It really just showcased the girls and it actually went through the training days. I was really surprised that they went into detail and talking about, you know, like no dating and no smoking, no drinking, no tattoos. We trained for years to do this. Like, I think that's something that people kind of can overlook, but they really like put an emphasis on it and been like, no, we're the way that we are because we worked hard. And I know as a fandom, we, you know, we talk about what we like and what we don't like and what we're waiting for and how long we waited for something. But I think at the end of the day, it just comes down to we're just here for the girls and just to hear from them and see them happy and just kind of be more vulnerable with us. I do have to say though, I wish um, Jisoo's like introduction part of the documentary was a little bit longer. I mean, I know she's a pretty like private person. She doesn't really share a lot like that, so I get it. But yeah, I think overall it was just, it was really nice. And it was kind of symbolic, honestly, to end like with the Coachella performance because that really was just such a huge moment in their career. Like they made history with their Coachella performance. Do we like understand that? Right? Like, do we comprehend? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you for being patient. I know it kind of took a while to get this video up and going, but I do hope you enjoyed. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe. Go check out my other channels for different type of content, free movie, side reactions. Merch and social media links all down below. I love you, take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next one.